Hello and welcome to Closely Observed English. This is a C1 Advanced Writing Feedback video and here we are looking at a report. Bring it on. You have been helping to run a new music club at your college. Now the college principal wants to get more people involved with the club and attract new members. The club organizer has asked you to write a report for the principal outlining what the club currently does explaining the club's future plans and suggesting ways of getting more people involved with the music club. Okay, so those are our three content points according to the rubric. Now let's take a look at the report and we will see how well uh, the candidate has dealt with them. So introduction. In this report, I would like to take the opportunity to provide some feedback about the current deeds of the college's music club and give information about its future plans. Apart from this, I will recommend ways through which the club is going to gain more popularity. Okay. Music club's ongoing actions. At the moment, the club is focused on expanding members' music knowledge through theoretical lessons. They're taking place every Wednesday and Friday. The club organizer has decided that Mondays will be days for students' questions about the topics they discussed the previous week. Besides that, members are required to learn new ways of absorbing the given theoretical information, which will be useful during the performance days later on forthcoming activities. As students are progressing, the club is planning on reduction in the length of the lessons since the students are already exhausted from the school day. Another thing the club organizer is reflecting on is the days which are intended for the lessons. We hope that a poll would be helpful in the process of deciding which days from the week are the most convenient for the club members. Not only this, but another step we're taking is to decrease the theoretical part and do more practice with the students. Recommendations. As our main aim is to attract more popularity among the students, the most crucial thing to do would be to organize a music concert. This way we are able to make a fuss about the club, causing more people to know about this kind of activity taking place in their school. Equally important is to pay attention to the instruments and buy new ones, as the available ones are already old and undeniable. Not to forget is the room in which the music lessons are happening. Providing better environment would also play a great role in attracting new valuable members. Right, okay. So first of all, it's too long. Uh, word count shows that it's about 316 words. We shouldn't be looking at anything more than about 280, 290. So there is a little bit that needs to be cut. And immediately you can see where that is. The introduction is too long. It doesn't tell us anything that the rubric didn't tell us. So it can get, it can be removed really. Um, you could go straight into this first content point, really, because it tells us what the music club is. You could have a one sentence introduction just saying that this report details the current operation of the music club, along with future plans. Um, that would be enough. You could at least cut it in half. And at the end, the recommendations, there are too many recommendations. There are too many. You've got the idea of organizing a music concert. You've got the idea of the instruments. You've got the idea of um, the room in which the lessons happen. Those are three ideas. How are you going to introduce and develop and conclude all three of those ideas and make them valuable in the little space that you've got left? It can't be done. I would choose the most important of those ideas and devote a bit more time and attention to it so that you can then finish quicker and keep under 300 words at least. So in terms of content, I would say that all three of the content points are covered. I'm not going to penalize the candidate for going over the word limit this time because it's only by a little bit uh, and enough has happened. Like if you cut it off here, you've still got the content covered. And I would say that generally, hmm, how informed is the reader? I think that we know what's happening in the current at uh, the current moment so that's okay um we have some ideas about um what might happen club's future plans are they future plans i don't know if they count as future plans this idea of reducing the length of the lessons maybe i'm not sure if that counts as a future plan of the club just say oh in the future we're thinking of reducing the length of time in the club <sighs> not sure if the people in the club are going to find that a particularly compelling argument for future plans. Maybe the last part here, not only this, but another step we're taking is to decrease the theoretical part and do more practice with the students. Okay, maybe, maybe, but I don't think that's a strong enough content point. I think that this one explaining the club's future plans 
um, doesn't quite do enough. And suggesting ways of getting more people involved with the music club still needs to be distinct. So let's deal with that first. Talk about what the club currently does. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. Saying that um, they have lessons, they do practice, and they have days where students can ask questions about the topics that were discussed. Uh, that's fine. In terms of future plans, what could you write? Well, one thing that you could write would be uh, that the club is planning to introduce um, thematic practice. So, for example, um, we're, instead of just having different sorts of music that we practice, we're going to choose one genre of music and that will be our focus until the next concert, maybe one per semester. So the first semester could be um, music from the movies. The second semester could be something more classical, for example. And that's about the club and its existing members. Then in terms of getting more people involved with the music club, I don't think talking about replacing the instruments is going to help people become involved with the club. It would help the people in the club. So in terms of things that the club could do to get more people involved, maybe the one about having a concert would be OK. But at the same time, how do you have a music club with no concert? I mean, that's a little bit crazy. OK, that's going a little bit beyond the rubric. But in terms of getting more people involved with the club, why don't you just go for the most basic, obvious thing, which is that you market the club, you advertise the club. And that could take a number of forms. There could be posters put up around the school highlighting the fact that there is a music club. You could have photos from previous concerts and have them displayed somewhere um, so that people can see. That will raise awareness and it will get more people interested. So because of that, I'm going to go for a three here on content. And it might seem a little bit harsh for me to do that because I... I mean, the writing's not terrible and it's kind of close to it. The problem is I don't think that each of the content points really informs the target reader who will be looking at this critically. It's the principal, isn't it? It's the college principal. They're going to be reading it thinking, OK, well, that's going to help people in the club, but that's not really helping them get more people involved. You know, they're going to look at it critically. So I'd be very careful there. It's a difficult task. Re writing reports are very difficult. In terms of communicative achievement, I think on the whole, the language is appropriate, but there are places where I would say that um, it's not quite formal enough. So, for example, um, where was it? Make a fuss, to make a fuss about the club. I don't think that's appropriately formal. Um, otherwise, it was generally formal enough, so that was okay. I don't know about holding the target reader's attention that much, and the ideas don't have space to breathe. There are simply too many. If you look at each paragraph, we've got idea, idea, idea. Where is the development? The ideas are not kind of progressed. There's no way to convince the reader that you're right about something because you don't try to do it. It's all about introducing rather than developing, and that's wrong. So my suggestion then for each of the content points, introduce one idea, just one, no more one idea and develop it, build it so that it becomes the important idea you want it to be. If you throw ideas at the paper, there's not going to be any way to have these complex ideas that we can see just there. So I could be generous. I think I will be generous. and I'm going to go for a three for communicative, but it's a three that's inching down towards a two if we're not careful about the quality of the ideas that are presented. Now, in terms of organization, I think this is OK. Uh, we have our headings, we have our paragraphs, and the paragraphs contain their own ideas. There's some organization of the sentences, and I think that's generally OK. Um, I think some of the linking expressions don't quite work. So, for example, here we've got apart from this, I will recommend. There's no need to say from apart from this, OK? And also this is singular, but you've also you've just talked about current deeds. I don't know why deeds instead of activities um, and give information about future plans. So that's two things. So you can't use a this to point. You need these to point. Um, besides that, maybe isn't the best choice there. Uh, da -da -dum. 
not only this, but another step. Yeah, again, not only this is not the greatest choice here because it doesn't quite fit the context. It's when you've got a point and you're developing it, you say, well, not only that. So here, not only this, but not only will we do this, but we will also do that. And I don't think it fits that context. Um, so there are little places here and there where the organization's a little bit lacking. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a, a two going towards a three for that. The linking devices don't quite work and the glue that holds the sentence together, not always the best. Also, there are a few op op uh, opportunities. Oh. Um, I've highlighted here, music clubs, ongoing actions, expanding members' music knowledge. Here you could have used the X of Y structure. So ongoing actions of the music club, uh, expanding the music knowledge of the members. That gives it greater formality and it helps balance the sentences, if nothing else. Right, okay, so we've got that and that leads us then to the language. And where do we go with the language? Well, there were a couple of times when I was reading it, I wasn't sure what was going on. For example, equally important is to pay attention to the instruments and buy new ones as the available ones are already old and undeniable. So a few things to say here. What do you mean by pay attention to the instruments? How do you pay attention to it? Here's an instrument and you're like, right, I'm just gonna pay attention to this instrument, see if it does anything. It's not the expression you're looking for. Uh, and buy new ones. Okay, so what, what you mean by pay attention is maybe consider the state of the instruments and replace them. And it's not the available ones. What do you mean available ones? Do you mean the ones that are being used or the ones that aren't being used yet? Are already old and undeniable? Maybe it's a typo because D and R are very close on the keyboard. Maybe you mean unreliable. But if you mean unreliable, what does that mean in the context of musical instruments? So that one sentence is kind of the whole text in, in microcosm because throughout the text, there are word choices and expression choices that don't fit, that aren't the right collocations. Uh, the words themselves, like the current deeds of the college's music club. Not really. Uh, later in recommendations, as our main aim is to attract more popularity. Do you attract more popularity or do you become more popular? What is it you're trying to say? So in terms of the, the structure of some of the text and in terms of the word choice, I think we're going to be looking at probably a two. So what does that give us overall? Well, as we've seen in other videos on this channel, reports are proving to be one of the, the biggest challenges out there. And here we have another example of a candidate struggling against that challenge. We've got something that could almost scrape a pass, I would say, it's very close to it. But the big problem here is that you've got to focus on what the content points are really talking about. Really think, what am I being asked to talk about here? And it's possible that you don't have enough world knowledge to be able to give that sort of information. And if you think that's gonna be the case, then on the day of the exam, maybe don't do the report. Putting that to one side, um, the organization and throwing uh, these linking terms, like apart from this and besides and not only this, throwing them at the, the writing and hoping that they will stick doesn't work. Use everything purposefully. Think carefully about what it is you want to say and how you're going to link that idea to others. Have a look at other people's writing. Have a look at authentic writing. You'll find that these kind of signposted, waving their hands, sort of linking terms, don't get used as often as you think. Read newspapers, you don't see them that much. So maybe don't use them too much because they start to stand out a little bit. And if they're wrong, they really stick out. They stick out like a sore thumb, as the expression goes. And then in terms of the language, again, we're looking at the collocations, we're looking at uh, specific language. Okay, so we don't talk about current deeds. You, you can just repeat what was in the rubric. You won't get the credit for it, but at least it's not a mistake. We don't attract more popularity. You attract more students. You become more popular. 
you want to boost the club's popularity so there's a lot there to look at in terms of collocations i've left the other paragraphs blank really for the language part so that you can go through and try to figure out yourself which collocations work and which don't um, but it is a useful idea it's a useful thing to do is to go through and see how well these words sit close to each other and if their proximity builds the message or if actually it breaks it so be very careful of that sort of thing okay and that brings us to the end of this feedback video thank you all very much